Welcome to Simple Review, the series where I briefly play a game, review it, and keep it simple. In this review, I'm covering an online, four-player cooperative first-person shooter called Anacrusis. At the time of making this video, Anacrusis is in early access and supports crossplay. When playing this game, you will have an experience similar to games like Left 4 Dead or Back 4 Blood, where you must navigate a level to reach a certain destination, all while defeating hordes of enemies that stand in your way. Currently, there is 3 out of 5 episodes that will be available to play. Each of these episodes will give you a short rundown of the mission, and then it's up to the 4 player group to figure out their way throughout the level. AI will be available to fill your team if you cannot get 4 real players. There will not be a difficulty selection for each episode as the game claims to have an adaptive AI to provide a reasonable challenge throughout gameplay. Each episode is broken up into several parts, but to my knowledge, must be completed in one sitting. Episodes can be pretty lengthy, so make sure you set aside a good amount of time before playing. If you need to step away, the game does offer an AFK mode that will have an AI take over your player temporarily. In addition to these episodes, there is also a weekly challenge that alters how the game is played. For example, this week's challenge removes all starting weapons and forces you to loot all equipment. Now when it comes to gameplay, you will play as one of four characters whose only difference are their visual appearance. These characters can be altered with cosmetics along with the three primary weapons and three special weapons available in game. When starting an episode, you will choose one of the three primary weapons, then begin your mission. Throughout the mission, you will come across a few types of enemies, perks, ammo, and additional equipment. The enemy types that I encountered were aliens that produce a bright light to blind you, aliens that grabbed you, aliens that shoot goo that trap you or slow you down, large tanky aliens, ranged aliens, and your typical horde style aliens that just run at you. The perks that you encounter are received from podiums scattered around the level. These podiums will offer three perks to choose from that will slightly alter the gameplay. For example, you can get a perk that will prevent damage while in goo or receive ammo from taking down marked enemies. Ammo can be received in a similar fashion. Ammo podiums can be found throughout the level and when interacted will give you full ammo. Equipment comes in a few varieties. You have healing equipment, grenades, and temporary buffs. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now from my experience, I have to say I found this game to be pretty enjoyable. Clearly this game is very similar to a few other games such as Left 4 Dead or Back 4 Blood, but that doesn't mean it can't have its own identity. The perk system and environment alone help distinguish this title from its competitors. Guns all felt pretty good to shoot, and the level design offered some really interesting battles. The gameplay can get a little repetitive, and I did feel it was a little disappointing to be stuck with only 3 weapons to choose from. It's definitely a big issue to me that you can't resume your playthrough and are stuck playing one big long episode. Aside from this, I did experience some performance issues on my Xbox Series X, especially on the first part of Episode 1. With this being an early access, I expect this issue to be resolved. So with all that being said, I'd have to give this game 7.5 pepperonis out of 10. Anacrusis offers an enjoyable gameplay experience that suffers from some questionable design choices and performance issues. If you would like to see what the developers have planned for the future of this game, I will provide a link to the roadmap in the description of this video and pinned in the comment section. And that'll do it for this review. If you found this review to be helpful, or you would like to see more reviews, please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my channel where I post game reviews and game guides.